Can Chris official out here? This is TC. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? We're back with another interview for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Today we got a special guest for you guys. He actually, actually, do you want to say something about him? Okay, uh, it's my brother, six foot, Mexican, black. <laughs> Not but for real, uh, I mean, he's a great guy. He's been doing this, his career since he's been 16. Um, what else? I mean, the guy's a phenomenal rapper. He can sing and rap. Yeah, he but, can't. Bro, his lyrics, he, his lyrics are something different. So, um, I want you guys to, like, give a, uh, give a listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, and get, get to know him, you know? And, um... Well, with no further ado, the special guest who we got for you is... Einstein, Einstein baby. baby. You already yes, know. sir. What's up, boy? Yeah, how you feeling today, huh? I'm feeling good. How are you guys feeling today? Good, good. Great, great. Great now that we are... Now getting to know you better, you know what I'm saying? So oh, I already let's, know him, but <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean you're his brother, you grew up with him. But like I don't know him, but they don't know him neither. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um we wanna start this by like who is Who is Einstein? Einstein. Yeah, who is Einstein? Um the Stone Genius. Stone right. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> um honestly, I I mean the name Einstein itself was just a play on words I came up with one day. Like, I was like, hmm, I was thinking for names. I was, for a while, honestly, I went by everything, bro. I was Lil T, Lil King. Bro, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to be. And then one thing, I was just like, woke up. I was like, Stone Genius. I was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And I was like, oh, yo, Einstein. And I was like, damn, like, that's really good. That's right. original as fuck. <laughs> like, I was like, I can't get rid of that. So I started doing raps under Einstein. I pulled all my music off of every social platform, Facebook, you know, SoundCloud, YouTube, restarted fresh i was heinstein now and i feel like when i first started rapping like i mean there was a lot of cap in the rap which i mean it happens it's not really like i'm gonna get stressed over that but i wanted to do something real i wanted to do some shit that was me you know i didn't want to just right. come out with heinstein and not be this person that i'm portraying like i wanted it to be about me but in my own alter ego almost so it's like it's still me it's still me as tejan it's just i'm i'm not going by that right so that's where that really came from and I don't know, it really stuck. Like people really like it. They're like, oh yeah, that kind of really. It's original. You. You know, it's original. It sounded good, to mm -hmm. be honest, for sure. So, um, since you first started your career, like being 16 years old, you know, like how do you feel like you progressed from being like from 16 to like now? Progression-wise, I really feel like my flows improved. Like my lyrics themselves have improved. And like I said, I was doing a lot of capping in my rapping. Like that's what. I mean, that's just what was around. And the city that I was in at the time, there was all drill music and trap music. So that's really what I had to work with. I had to, I had to get the city's attention is what I was thinking. But after I really got into digging and doing research and like really getting to know the music industry, I feel like I really wanted to be original. Like I didn't want to be somebody else in the rap game. I wanted to be me. Right. So I wanted to do my own thing. So I started really like, okay, this is what I can do. You know, I have influences, all that type of stuff. But when it comes down to it, I'm doing my own thing. Like I'm not doing somebody else's thing. I'm not stealing this person's flow right. or using this person's beat. I want to do my own shit. Like, right. anybody else would want to do, but I want to do music for myself. Like, I don't want this to be for somebody else. I want this to be for me. Right. I want people to understand what I'm saying, how I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's my outlet. It's, press, it's, it's the way that, exactly. I don't really do music for people to be like, oh yeah, that was some hot shit. Like, I, when I'm really doing music, my best music always comes from something that's bothering me something good or bad it doesn't matter but it affects me in my music and you can always tell like oh damn he was really feeling himself on that one like damn i feel for him or damn he was really happy on that one you, you can hear it in his voice he was hyped to be here right. or i have people in the studio tell me all the time like oh okay you came with that energy like this is this matched you know we should do this and this with it you know oh you know this is a sad ass song and you got a sad ass flow going on like i fuck with this your energy it's always right. what i hear i'm always matching my energy to my sounds and that's because I'm creating with my emotions. I'm not creating with outside, like, people like, oh, you should write some shit about this. You should write some shit about this. Like, no, I'm doing what I'm doing, you know what exactly I'm saying? Exactly, what you feel like. That's exactly. how you feel like, so that's how you, what well, you better write. You want to write something that you didn't know? Right, about? exactly. You're not going right. to, you're not, I mean, you could write something that you don't know, but when you do stuff like that, like, you're not really giving off the right energy. Exactly. Because you're not, you've same. never been in a situation as of, like, as of that. So when you start writing about, oh, I killed a nigga, I shot... I mean, yeah, you can sound hype doing all that, but, like, 
Have you really done it? Exactly. Do you really know what it feels like? Do you really have that exact energy that a nigga who killed somebody had? You know what I'm saying? You never yeah. know. That's you never know. know. Oh, you got in the music industry like that. Like, what inspires you to like become an artist? Um, honestly, from a young age, I've always wanted to be in some type of entertainment. Uh, I honestly, I started out wanting to sing, and I didn't really do too much with it. I would like join youth groups and sing like in the choir at school and shit and then i got into high school and i mean from changing cities all the time like it just kind of became how i expressed myself i didn't really there was like after i moved i was like i didn't really want to make friends because i didn't feel like i was going to see them very long my mom as soon as we moved she was already talking about moving so it's like okay i'm gonna see these people for like a year and then i'm going to a new place so i really didn't start making friends i started i started just writing Right. I'd write some poems, I'd write some raps, and I started killing it, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, you know, I got something going on. And it, it just was like a pastime. I'd write every so often, write. And then I got to a new place, and people that I was getting to become friends with, they were rapping. They had people who were in the studio. So it was like, okay, you know, I can get down with this. And people kind of looked at me funny. They're like, oh, you know, you rap really weird. Like, you rap like a white boy. I was like, what's that mean? <laughs> like, okay. You know, they're like big words, you know, you're constantly trying to like flow through everything instead of like taking a pause. Like, well, that's just the music that I've gotten it's into. It's you, it's you your music, like, like, it's your kind of music, the, the one that you make, you know what I'm saying? That that makes you real, you know, you know what I'm saying? So don't let that bother you. Oh, you yeah, know what no. I'm saying? The, the first thing I will tell you about even ever touching the music industry, don't join this business if you can't take criticism. Because people are going to hate on you always. Always, always, always. It doesn't matter if you're at the top, the bottom, coming up. It doesn't matter. People are going to hate on you. That is life. There's people who you think are your friends that are secretly behind your back are like, that nigga trash, that nigga can't rap, he can't do this and that. That's how they feel. And that's if that's how they feel, so be it. But a lot of the time, it's just jealousy. They see you actually progressing in something, and they want to be in your position. It might not be with rapping, but if you take, a rap, all right, take rapping right now, and put somebody who wants to be a businessman, okay? He's down here. He's still an employee working the register. I'm over here, and I'm starting my business. You know, I'm not making really good money off of music. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. But I'm still making money off of music. It still can be considered a side job to me. Like, I make a little bit. So I'm happy where I'm at. Right. Selling tickets at shows when I was able to do shows. I was happy, you know, making like 10 to $20 back. That was, to me, like, that was the best moment of my life. Like, I'm getting paid for what I want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I could take that tenfold, dude, I'd never work again. I, I would use rapping. If I could use rapping as a nine to five income, like not even big. I don't even have to be huge. Give me the time to just I go to I go like twenty five shows a week and I make enough to support my family, get my shit paid. You know that's so be it. I just love to rap. Right. Thing <laughs> is what I love to do. You can we can tell by the songs though, right. cause like when we listen to it, we like get into the song. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. We really feel a song when he's singing it. All right, Heinstein, like, with, with all your music, um, how many songs have you made so far, you think? Uh, released or unreleased? Uh, but, uh, like, both. Both, right? Yeah. Uh, released, honestly, I've probably only released, like, 20 songs. And prior to, like, me deleting everything, probably, like, 50, 60. Oh, wow. Um, there's only about 20 that are floating around, and some of them, like, are on so such low-key, like, I have... 15 songs that nobody's ever heard. Oh, wow. And those are on uh, Deezer that nobody uses. But Deezer makes money, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I have people who are listening to Deezer. I'll get, like, 20, 40 likes. I'll get, like, three bucks just oh, wow. just off that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's crazy. just, like, exclusives that I do for, like, certain platforms. I have SoundCloud exclusives, YouTube exclusives. You know what I'm saying? I have a Spotify exclusive. It's only on there. You know what I'm saying? So... When I talk about unreleased, uh, I mean, if you want to go through my notes, I got like <laughs> 600 songs, I think, from me being, I think it was like 2015, I started writing in on Androids and on my phone. I have like 600 songs. So, I mean, a lot of them are like only like 16 bars long, but I try to like keep my, my mind fresh on writing. So I try to do a 16 a day, even if I'm not like writing for anything, just writing to write 16 bars, you know, get a beat, 16 bars. Or I'll, I'll go back and finish them later on, or I'll be like, hey, bro, you want to get on this verse? Uh, okay, all you got to do, I got the hook, I got my verse, you got to get your verse done. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just backup plans. I want to I, I get to a point where I have 
songs recorded that aren't technically released, but I can just start dropping on people. Just choo, 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 just start dropping them right. for no reason. That's, cool. That's what I'm trying to get. So I'm really working on getting the content in. I don't drop so much right now. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm working on actually two mixtapes and an album, and I got three features that I'm doing with other people. Um, I'm really just, I'm trying to get as much coverage on everything as possible. So I don't want to just drop one thing and then it just be a single all the time. Like yeah. I want to work, drop an, drop an album. The album is the first thing that I'm working on. That's actually a collaborative album, but that that's really top secret. I can't talk about that one. Right, right. Uh, the mixtapes, uh, we got Tales from Xenon and Stone Genius mixtape. Uh, those are going to be pretty fire. I got uh, three features I'm working on right now. I got a feature coming with this dude named Doxin. Uh, I got another feature coming with Ty the Guy. And then me and uh, Ty, the Ty the Guy, yeah, back, huh? back in business. Uh, and then I got uh, Dilly Goat, Dilly Goat, my friend from Canada. He just uh, he sent me a beat the other day. Uh, we honestly, we it's going pretty good. It's uh, it's probably the most professional song that I've been working on. Like he's he's working with a professional producer, you know, in his lab. He made the beat and and all that stuff in front of him and all that good stuff. So I mean, it's really going good for him. I mean. They're in Canada. I can't really do much, but like just the the quality of everything and how everything's being put together, the collaborating process of waiting, you know, getting his verse, sending my verse back, trying to get it to sync up. Right. It's just it's really eye opening to see like how different it is once you actually get into a position where you can't really move around all the time because you're doing shows. Exactly. Like it really just opened my eyes to that because we can't. I can't just you know go over to Canada, start working with them like I can right. do with some of the local artists Ooh. or the artists that are from like down south in Ohio instead of up where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? So it just, it was really good for me, I, I feel, because like now I, I really want to keep working with him just so I can get that feel like, okay, this is what I'm going to be going through when people want to buy features or this is what I'm going to be going through when people want features for me and I'm on the road. That would be you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I'll, I'll know how to work my voice so it's going to sound good with this other person once I get, you know, and it's all about practice, honestly. Practice makes perfect. And I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't really think you can achieve perfect because there's always room for improvement but i want to be damn near that at the end of the day and i mean i'm young i'm 21 i i feel i've surpassed a lot of older dudes younger dudes i mean there's just people i i know people with a lot of talent with no ambition and it's sad really like i know you That's it's right. really sad but me personally i like to work with people who are what i consider underdogs like, I want to work with somebody who's not getting the love that they should be, right. who's really ambitious. He might not he might not be the best rapper out, but he's ambitious. He's got work ethic, you know what I'm saying? He's dropping music, you know. Everybody can improve. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit or a lot. Improvement's improvement. Yeah. Slowly but surely, you're going to get to the bigger picture. So if I can take a bunch of underdogs and get them paid, I can put the whole city on, or the whole state on, really. I mean, Ohio's got serious talent, and... Yeah. Yeah, I work do. with I've worked with people from all over Ohio, Akron, Cleveland, Columbus. You know, I've talked to a bunch of people from all over. I mean, not even just those. Those are just the main cities. I mean, they're obviously outlier cities and stuff. Right. Serious, serious talent in Ohio. And it's crazy because Ohio is so slept on. You hear about maybe two, three artists blowing up from Ohio a year. Yeah. It should be way more than that. Because if you really go in and dig deep, you can find so many. Uh, uh, not even just Ohio. Local artists themselves, you can find a lot of them with hella talent and no love. And it's crazy. It just blows my mind sometimes to see, like, the game. Literally, people that are in the rap game aren't really that good. Exactly. And then you got people who are, like, out here, and they're grinding, they're doing their thing, but they're not getting no love. I mean, right. and they, a lot of people don't like, have... There's, like, artists right here that really should be more higher than they, they are right yeah, now. Yeah, you know for sure. Saying? And a lot of it has to do with not having the money to pay for promotion. Exactly. Pay f like, they don't market right. So what I've basically been doing, because I know I'm not going to have the money to pay for promotion all the time, I'm trying to start my own platform for promotion, you know what I'm saying? Get my own page where I'm like, hey, you know, we post your music. I'm not trying to get any money out of it right now because my page isn't really that big, but I'm not going to overcharge to put somebody on. If you're good, you're good, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to... I want rap to change for the better. Like, I'm, I'm tired of the mumble mumbo jumbo. Like, I mean, it's cool... Don't get me wrong, I can go to the club, I can turn up to that. I'm sure you guys feel the same way, but mm -hmm. I don't, like, I'm not going to sit back and listen to that. Like, what if I'm trying to relax? What? If, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to turn up and relax at the same time. Right. So I feel like 
we need to get a lot more of a variety in the rap game. We need boom bap type rappers to come back. We need everything to come back instead of it all just being the same, the same shit. Same and it's crazy. Literally. With, with that being said, um, the music, um, the shows, everything, like, let's hear one of your favorite songs right now. Uh, so this one is actually a uh, feature I had uh, with Sacho. <laughs> See that you a bitch, T Sean Hard. They already know they cannot compete with my bars. I know I'm bringing heat, so why you threatening the beast? I'm not in the least, I'm too high up in the trees. Probably cause I'm smoking cheese. So it's my time to boast the show, boat. You got yourself into a pickle, but it ain't kosher no more. Fucking with my feelings, baby, that's a no no. That's why I never ever stretch your ass no more. Things really ain't the way that they used to be. All my life has changed. But fuck it, cause I thought you said this shit was never ended. Must be the avatar, cause the bitch is truth bending. Cause everything you said was not true. Say you see a wedding, I do. Married to the game, fuck you. On them sick lies when you said love you. I just need to be like one, two. Cause I just took a beat in plus two. You nigga wanna flex, but he won't never see this shit like I do. Things really ain't the fucking way they really seem. So why you trying to say that you'll be riding in my beam, bitch? In the trenches with the trench coat. Yeah. That was good, bro. For real, good shit. That's uh, I mean, it's a little. That was your newest song you just dropped. That, yeah, that's the newest one trench that I have. Oh right? uh, yeah, trenches, not and trench. What's code. your um, your YouTube name and all that? Uh, tell, tell the people. Tell Einstein's people. laboratory, laboratory, but people don't like the way I say it. So, <laughs> Einstein's laboratory. If you want to follow my personal page, and then I got my topic page, which is just Einstein. Uh, that's where I mean all the revenue comes from. But I'm not, I'm not really tripping on that. You can watch it on whatever. I'm here for the views, like. And um, we're going to leave the links of his social medias and on his channel here on the description of the channel. So just click it and subscribe to his channel. You know what I'm saying? Listen to his music. Cause for, for, for real. He's, he's I, really good. And you just guys just saw it. That's, you a, little, just that's a little taste. You know, for so, real. Yeah, just a little taste. So, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? So, um, what's your goals now? Like, oh, what is next? You might, you might work on the, the, um, the mixtape. You better work on the album, and you got another mixtape too, right? You said yes, two mixtapes. Why are you, why are you releasing them? Uh, so the mixtapes, uh, I really want to do. Probably, I'm gonna do one for Christmas, just like a Christmas present. Drop it on y'all. Right. Uh, the new year is when I want to have the album done. I want to start working on like getting recordings done on the album then, and I'll probably drop the last mixtape on 420 just because the Stone Genius mixtape, and I've been working on that for <laughs> five fucking years. But I just. I want, there's a certain vibe for that one that I'm really trying to capture, and it's, I mean, it's hard, man, like, if you really, like, I'm trying to musically put into perspective the my mind, like, this is going to be strictly feelings, everything that's coming from my head, like, this is, it has to be perfect to me. I, 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 I'm probably going to end up putting more time into this mixtape than I am the album. But that's okay with me, because either way, it's going to get some exposure. Yeah. Uh, and I got really big plans for it. I've been, I got people I, I'm going to work with for the promotion and everything to hopefully get things set right for the mixtape. Um, I am going to take the mixtape and buy everything so I can still sell it, but it's not going to be like 24 songs like an album would. Right. I want it to be a shorter album, basically. But I have to label it how it is. I can't call it an album if it's not an album. Yeah, right. <laughs> That sounds good. That's, that's awesome, man. I mean, you excited? How you, that's your first, you know, like. Um, for real. I, I want. I wanted to ask you, like, how, how do you feel in your first party? Like, what, what, where was it? And how do you feel? Party? Yeah. Oh. Uh, damn, I, I'm finishing if I. 
<laughs> Talk about this. <laughs> uh, I mean, my first party, uh, officially for myself, I was probably like 13, 14. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was wilding out. <laughs> uh, I forget even how I started partying. I just, it just happened. It was one day, hey, you know, you want to you go hang out? I was like, yeah, bro. Oh, we got shots and shit. I I mean, I've drank. 13 fucking two years old. Yeah, early, early. I had some background. Some background. <laughs> uh, honestly, but that's my first real experience with a party. Uh, no snitching, but sorry to one of my older brothers. I can't say who. But uh, they had a party at the house. Uh, everybody ended up getting drunk. And, you know, when everybody's drunk, they don't give a shit. I'm an eight-year-old. I pull up in the... Pull up in there. I'm like, oh, let me, let me take a drink of this. Sippy sip. And sitting there playing Halo. And everybody's getting high, drinking. I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not really doing nothing. I took a sip of some liquor. I didn't like the taste. So I was just really just hanging out. But that was like really when I was like, you know, this wouldn't be so bad if I was their age. You know what I'm saying? If friends uh, kicking out, right, you know, hanging right. out. It's socializing. I didn't really see it as that as so young. Like I was like, what the hell are they doing? Yeah. Just playing my game. That's all I really cared about. But. And, like, putting it into perspective, like, I really just like the social aspect of everything, like, from, like, I mean, I don't, I'm not a drinker, but, like, if I'm going out to the bar with my friends and they want to have a shot, you know, that's just, I'm socializing with them. Right, right. And that's really how everything has started for me was, I was socially doing it. Like, I had smoked weed at a young age. I didn't really start smoking weed until I was, like, 12. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I think I was like no. eight when I had my first experience with it. Been high huh? No, I was <laughs> kind of. I was like eight when I had my first experience Please. with it, and I didn't like it because it, it really messed me up. Like I thought the ceiling fan was falling on me and shit. Like I was, I was messed up. I'm like, uh, what is this? Right, and then like it slowly like socializing. My friends started smoking. You know, we're getting order. Puberty's coming through. Emotions are hitting. I mean, getting high when you got shit. when you're emotional. I mean, everybody Damn, know how that feels. Everybody know how that feels. I mean. It might be different for you than me, but when I'm when I'm emotional, you know, I take a hit of a blunt or something, you know, relax, kick back. I'm not thinking about nothing but what's in my face, you know exactly. what I'm saying? So that was really where I started smoking, smoking, and then it just became a habit. It's just a part of me, honestly. Like, got that shit tatted somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Sure. Um, what, what would you um, what would you tell the people like right now, like? The rappers, even just anybody in general, like, like out there, know, like, what is some motivation you could give them right now? Honestly, I feel like everybody, and this is on a bigger scale than just locally, everybody needs to start working with each other. Like, we need to cut this. I'm the best rapper. Shit. I mean, 100%. You should feel that way. Don't get me wrong. You should feel you're the best rapper. But we need to work with each other and not just be selfish about what we're doing. Because if you have two names on a song. As opposed to one, and say you already bring in about a good 450 views. I'm, this is just numbers I'm throwing out there. You get right. 450 views on a on a song within like a month or something, okay? And then this person's bringing in 250, so now you got 700 views, you right. know. And then when it starts to climb, this person's getting 7,000, you're getting 4,000, or you're getting 10,000, and they're getting 100,000. Like the numbers are coming, right. and people are so oblivious to that. They're like, oh well. I get my own numbers. It's like, okay, whatever number you have, you're going to get something more than that just exactly. because somebody else is there. Somebody else's fans are there. And not only that, these fans can have mutual like artists. They can listen to more than one artist. Right. So if you get somebody's fan and they're like, oh, damn, that dude's really dope. You know, I'm going I'm to go look at his music. And then you get more views on more of your music. It's not just that one song now that you have with this person. And people don't really understand that concept. They're just like, no, nah, I want to do this on my own. I did it on my own. Grit, grit. But that's why a lot of people aren't really making it. It's because they're they're refusing to work. They're I mean, I'm not saying you're lazy, but you are. <laughs> if you're only working with yourself, like what are you working for? Right. You what are you working no, for? You're not gonna get nowhere right. if you're stuck doing the same and that there's there's like outliers, there's people who have done it that way. But you it's just once you get in the like, game, like easier. you need money. You're you're not just making money doing shows all the time. Like mm. you still have to build connections, you still have to sign yourself to a label or Figure out how you're going to make your own money as an independent artist. There's always going to be things. If you're an independent artist, nine times out of ten, your money's going to be coming from features. Oh, yeah. So you're trying to get yourself from being the $20 feature, the $200 feature, to being the $10,000 feature. 
the two hundred thousand dollar fucking verse. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that's that. if you're in a, if I was an independent artist and somebody was offering me two thousand for a verse, dude, like Bro. that's I got paid twenty five dollars for a verse not too long ago. I was the happiest dude alive. I was like, yeah. I'm getting paid for what I love to do. Once exactly. again, we're coming back to this. I get pay, I, if I get paid for doing what I love to do, that's all it meant. That's all that matters to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you love to do. So oh, it. love it. That's Rap, awesome. sing. I mean, anything. Anything I love to do. If I could get paid to do it, I, I would do it. Right. Like in a heartbeat. It's I don't want to just be the guy with one hustle. Like once everything I love to do really coincides. Because if I really became a rapper, I could start streaming too. I love to play video games. Get some of my fans on. Be like, hey, you know. I got an open lobby. Come join this and this, and we can play this and this. And you know, with the fans, kick back, relax. Good money, marketing. It it all comes slowly once you start gaining everything. The clout, yeah. you know, the money. I mean, it it's easy, but it's hard work. You gotta work, work, work. I've been doing this for what five years now, technically, since I I became Einstein. But I've been working at like my perfecting my music, perfecting my lyrics, perfecting how I do it. There was a while for a while I couldn't write for anything, but I could freestyle my ass off. Right, I yeah. could freestyle my ass off. You, let's hear, let's hear you put on, a, you put on, on a beat. Let's All hear right. some. Let's, let's hear some. some. Uh, let's hear some. We want to put on a freestyle on for this boy, and then we want to head out. Yes, sir. Right. We want to hear some real quick. We got, we, we, you got to real. Life's been changing, life's been amazing. Money when I change, I'm replacing what I'm taking. I'm Dominican, I don't hate you. Haitian, I'm Dominican, I don't hate you. Haitian, life's been changing. Oh, love, hey, 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 money when I'm chasing. I'm okay, okay. I'ma have to get a racist. Yeah, and these niggas so racist. I'ma turn these niggas to some all fucking racist. I ain't gotta do nothing, nigga. I'm hell racing. I'm raising hell so you niggas can get your fucking line up and talk. Bell, hey. make you smell. So I tell these niggas I'ma have to go, don't kiss and tell. But I wish a nigga would, like I'm wishing well. So I'm wishing in my woods, I can fucking tell that I'm doing the shit how I really wanna. So now I'm out here in the woods and smoking marijuana. That's my, hey. that's my fragrance. I ain't tell these niggas nothing. I just had to change the nation one word at a time. I can say it like that, but they ain't never rhyme. So I'm saying right back, then I'm telling them bring it back, but they don't like that. So I, I tell them collapse, cause they can fight back. Uh, like, hey. changing like it's been amazing. Why do you wanna pace it? We're placing one up. Hey, kid. I'm the nigga got a no Haitian. Haitian. I know. No Haitian. Haitian. Life's been changing. Life's been amazing. Why do you wanna pace it? We're placing one up. Hey, kid. No Haitian. Haitian. Hey. Hey, we still hey, hell racing. I was living on the back door, leaving by the back door, trying not to be a hoe, but that shit hard, yo. Fuck it when you high, bro, getting all the bad hoes. They want you hey. to make me grow from the pulley, I bro. Hey. Hey.